Hi everybody, Tim here from Workshop 12 and today we're going to take a look at our Mark II kit for the Scion FRS Subaru BRZ Toyota, Toyota 86. That's a mouthful. Uh, so we have our Mark II kit that we've designed and, and brought to market here now and it addresses a couple of key main things that we wanted to do before launching this product. Number one was price point. Uh, we were doing all of our printing for all the plastics through Shapeways, uh, which was really expensive and we wanted to bring that price point down. So we've retooled and redesigned some of the plastics and the sports and everything that are in there so that we can print a lot of it more in-house to be able to reduce and bring that price down. The second thing that we wanted to make sure that we tackled is being able to get easy access to the tablet. So one of the things that we find for different vehicles that might be in extreme temperatures, somebody might want to bring that tablet in, whether it's really cold overnight or you're in super hot temperatures in Phoenix and I want to pop that tablet out of my car before it sits for seven hours in the sun when I'm at work. Um, there's various different reasons. Maybe I just want to get access to be able to recharge the battery. My car is a show car and it sits for weeks at a time and I want to pop it out, charge the battery and throw it in when I want to take my car out. So lots of different reasons why people want access to that tablet. So today we're going to take a look at our Mark II version and seeing how we're addressing that. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, so here we have our Mark II plastics for the FRS, BRZ and Toyota 86. Um, you'll notice that our Mark II kit looks very, very similar to our Mark I. We really like the designs of the Mark I kit, how it looked installed inside of the vehicle, but we wanted to make a few changes for it before we made it available for everybody. Um, one of the main changes that we want to do is be able to make it so that we can make it a little bit more affordable, a little bit less cost for manufacturing uh, to be able to get it out there. Um, so what we did is we kind of redesigned the plastics on the, the front and the back to allow us to be able to essentially print each of the different pieces in a modular fashion uh, and manufacture those in-house versus shaping, uh, shipping them all out to Shapeways. Um, we are still doing and outsourcing the front face plate, what's visible to the actual driver, to Shapeways. Can't really compete with their $100,000 printers to be able to do this great nylon printing uh, for that front surface in there. So that's kind of the main redesigns that we've done. Uh, again, we don't have that seam across here and that's so that we can take the main faceplate off and get access to the tablet once it's installed in the dashboard. So these are secured with eight earth magnets to be able to hold this faceplate sturdy in place and each of the different magnets in the plastics and the housing have ridges around them. So the ridges are there to make sure that once the plastics are on, it can't float side to side or up and down on the magnet surfaces and the magnets are there to hold it into the dash. So we've got a good secure sturdy holding of that magnet, uh, that faceplate on there. Um, everything's tucked back into the dash and it, it should fit fine. Um, so the other small design cue that we made a change with here, because that faceplate needed to be removable, we've kind of nested the um, hazard button back in a little bit so that the faceplate can lift off and still have the hazard switch in there so you're not trying to pull wiring uh, back out of the system. Now another little feature that we've done in here is we've actually put little loops down in the plastic so that you can put zip ties to hold your cables. So one of the worst things would be to have those cables drop down to the dash after installation. You're trying to fish them back out of there to be able to plug into the tablet. So we've got those as additional different pieces uh, on the bottom as well. So um, another little design cue that we have done on the plastics is you'll notice that we've got a little bit of a pattern of our Brainiac logo uh, in the background there. Previous kits really just had you know some uh, bare minimum that we needed to hold the tablet. But in the case that you're gonna have your tablet out of the vehicle, you want something a little bit interesting to be able to see there. And you don't wanna see through to all the wires and everything in the back of your dashboard. It'd be like having your stereo ripped out. Um, so this gives you a nice kind of covering of all the uh, wiring and stuff that's behind it. Um, and it gives you a nice cool little design um, to see as you are uh, you know, having your tablet out of the actual dash. Um, so along with the kit, as usual, like we did with the Mark I, you're gonna get your electronic climate control box. So this is just gonna unclip your existing climate control, snap in your new climate control uh, into the with the OEM plugs right into here. There's a USB port here that's gonna connect this into the tablet. We always recommend our Mark 1.5 electronics. It gives you all of the USB cabling, uh, all the USB hubs to be able to support something like this as an accessory, power and charge to your tablet, uh, as well as your audio connections to be able to get sound into your car. 
And we also are having you know the little hazard switch. So I have one that's just in the plastics here for show and tell, but then we have the hazard switch that actually plugs into your existing circuitry so you can get rid of the old hazard bar. This is making sure that you've got your hazard switch as well as making sure that your uh, check light isn't, uh, isn't going off if you don't have somebody sitting in a passenger seat. So it's that little indicator light that's in there. So we've got the circuitry that handles all of that here. Um, so that's it, that's the, uh, the Mark II kit. Um, a bit of a walkthrough of the, the plastics. We'll have installation videos and everything on how to make it work inside of your car. Uh, but that's a bit of an introduction to the kit. Thanks a lot for joining and uh, we'll see you in, uh, in other videos.